What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and if you guys didn't know, on Saturday was the Double Rep Beats event. I decided to run with one of my subs. He's been a subscriber for a very long time, he showed a ton of support to the channel. And I just tweeted out asking who wanted to run twos because I had no one to run with. He replied and I decided to run with him. So if you guys aren't following my Twitter, make sure to follow that, the link is in the description. And in this game we were going up against two Elite Threes, they had a playmaking stretch four and a pure glass cleaner. And to start the game off they did end up missing an open shot. I let Lanigan ISO for a little, he gave it to me, I passed it right back to him, that was a lightly contested shot, he did miss it, and the other team did end up getting the rebound, this stretch pump fakes, gets a wide open fadeaway midrange, and he bricks it somehow, no idea how he missed that, he's a stretch wide open, but anyway, I'm just gonna drive right past this guy, get an easy dunk, cause he was playing me way up on the 3 point line. In the next play, I decided to take this guy into the post, and for some reason this stretch double teamed, I don't know why, they left Lanigan wide open, and he's gonna drain the 3 pointer. Next play, we decided to run a pick and pop because I do have pick and popper silver. I got a full bar on the mid range. I still bricked it somehow. Even though he has dimer gold, I have pick and popper silver. But it's whatever. We were up 5 to 0. They were missing a lot of shots, so we were still feeling pretty confident at this point. I decided to leave this glass cleaner open for a mid range because his mid range is in the 40s, I'm guessing, and he still drains it, which I'm kind of surprised about. And in the next play, they're going to get an easy backdoor cut. I thought I got a contest there, but I guess I didn't get there in time. It's all good though because in this next play, this stretch did end up getting a good cut, but he ended up taking a bad shot. I got the rebound, we're up 5-4 to four at this point, I'm just going to drive right to the paint because once again, this guy keeps playing me up on the 3 and I have no idea why. So next play off the inbound, Lanigan's going to run towards the corner, get a wide open mid range, he's going to drain it, and at this point I was surprised that we were winning because number 1 we were going up against 2 elite 3's, and number 2 they were running 2 bigs. And once again, this guy cannot play defense. I'm going to do a hop step into the paint, and I'm going to get takeover. So it's basically over for them at this point. First play, I'm going to spin right off this guy, get an easy dunk. But the next play didn't go as planned. Lanigan got a nice cut, but he did end up getting blocked by the stretch. So the stretch is going to get the rebound. And at this point, I wasn't really sure who to guard because he wasn't getting back on defense. But he did end up getting there in time. The stretch is just left writing, waiting for a screen to come. Their offense was honestly pretty bad. This glass cleaner wasn't even setting the stretch screens to get him open. So they were both just running around on offense. They couldn't seem to get open. Right here, the stretch does pull a shot. He does miss it. But I didn't end up getting the board, so the glass cleaner is getting an easy layup. But that's okay because in this next play, this stretch big actually tried to cut into the paint. Tried to go back door, but I did end up getting the steal. And good thing I still had takeover because right here, I go into the post. They decide to double team me. I'm going to hit Lanigan on the left wing. He's going to drain the three. Right here, all we needed was five points. So I told Lanigan to go for a backdoor cut. He's going to get an easy layup. And right here, we got 18 points. So all we need is an easy three or two two-pointers. So he's going to give me the ball because I still do have takeover. It's about to end. So I'm just going to go into the post like normal. Spin past this guy. And I thought they were trying to bait me, so I ended up passing to Lanigan. He gave it back to me, and my takeover ended, so I decided to take a fade. It wasn't the best release, so I did miss. But I did end up getting my own rebound. Lanigan's wide open on the three, and that's going to be the game. <laughs> Lanigan did end up missing the game-winning shot, but that's okay, because right after that, this stretch big pulled a horrible shot. I'm going to give it back to Lanigan on the three-pointer, and the stretch actually did get back in time. So Lanigan's going to give the ball back to me. I'm going to drive. And I kind of took a bad shot right here, but that's okay because I get the rebound, pass right back to Lanigan. He gets a wide open three and he hits it for the game. In the second game, we also went up against two elite threes. One of them was a sharpshooting point forward and the other was a rebounding athletic finisher. To start things off, I took this athletic finisher into the post and I ended up taking a post hop shot and I did get a full bar. I thought I was going to miss, but I did end up making it. In the very next play, Lanigan hit this point forward with an easy backdoor cut and got an easy dunk. And because these guys were elite threes, I thought their defense would be a lot better, but we started off with an easy 6-0 lead. Right here, Lanigan passed to me in the corner, and I decided to take it into the paint, and every time I went into the paint, these guys decided to double team me, so Lanigan was wide open for 3 and he hits it. And this game was much easier than we thought because these guys could not guard the backdoor cuts. I don't understand how, because they were both elite 3s, one's a point forward who's taller than Lanigan, and one's an athletic finisher who's taller than me. So they should be able to play defense on us because they do have the height advantage, but as you can see, their defense is trash. They left Lanigan wide open for three. We got a 14-0 lead on two elite threes. And from that three-pointer, Lanigan actually did get takeover. And this point forward wasn't double teaming me, but he did leave Lanigan open once again. And from that assist, I'm also going to get takeover. So at this point, we both had takeover. We're up 17-0 on two elite threes, which is crazy to me. This guy does not know how to guard Lanigan when he has the ball. He doesn't know how to guard him off ball. So Lanigan's going to start to drive in, hit him with a snatchback, pass to me. 
and I'm just going to take it into the post because you know that post scoring takeover is the most overpowered thing in the game. But they're going to leave him wide open. I'm going to feed him. He's going to hit the three. And at this point, we only needed one more basket. So I may as well just take it into the post, get an easy dunk. And I finished with seven assists. That's how much they left Lanigan open. That's how bad of defense they played on him. He dropped 18. How are you going to let an amateur one go seven for seven with 18 points on you? I don't know. This guy's an elite three. He can't play defense, but I'll definitely take it. Because from this game, I ended up getting 26,000 my points. After two games in a row of playing Elite Threes, we were kind of scared to play these Comp 2K players. To start the game off against these very Comp 2K players, Lanigan's gonna hit me in the corner, I'm gonna get a full bar, and I'm gonna hit the three. Next play, I let Lanigan ISO to test out this guy's defense, but he's gonna let him hit a wide open mid-range. And we quickly found out that these guys were horrible at defense. This guy left me wide open, I greened a post hop shot. And last play, they let a shot creator hit an open mid-range. So I don't know what they're doing, leaving me open in the post, leaving Lanigan open, from the mid-range area and now they're leaving him open on the three he does miss the shot but i do get the rebound and i just decided to put it right back up and just like that we're up nine to zero and like i said these guys defense were horrible they left landing in wide open he did end up missing and they did get the ball so now it's time to see if they can do anything on offense this guy that i'm guarding is a slashing sharpshooter so he can kind of dunk he can kind of shoot and then Lanigan is guarding a pure playmaker so he can't shoot all that well but he can dribble and he can drive to the basket so just like that he's gonna get two easy layups and they cut the score to a three-point lead for us like I said before pure playmakers can't shoot right here he's gonna take a mid-range he's gonna break the heck out of it and I have no idea why he has a one-handed jump shot but anyway right here I'm gonna drive into the paint they're gonna double team me so I'm gonna pass out to Lanigan for the open three on the wing and he's gonna hit it in the very next play, this pure playmaker, I guess he just decided to sit in the paint, not play any defense, and from that flashy assist, I ended up getting takeover. So I just took it in the post, and they decided to double team me, so I passed out to Lanigan for the open three on the wing, and he's gonna hit it once again. I think that's his hot spot, because he's been shooting a lot of his three-pointers from the left wing and the right wing, especially the left wing, and since I do have takeover, you know I gotta break some ankles. I'm gonna drop this guy, hit Lanigan on the wing again, and he's gonna hit the three. So at this point, we're up six to 20. We're feeling good about this game. These guys are both amateur ones who can't play offense, can't play defense, so we're feeling pretty good. Once again, I'm gonna try to break his ankles, but he's not really in front of me, so I'm gonna pass the landing in on the wing once again. That's his hot spot, and he's gonna end the game from there. At this point, we were on a three game win streak, we were feeling pretty good. And we were going up against a pure stretch and a pure glass. And I know they don't have the best of records, but that lineup is pretty cheese. And anyway, we're going to start the game off with a green mid-range. They're going to leave me wide open. And in the very next play, Lanigan's going to get a nice backdoor cut. His IQ is actually pretty high on backdoor cuts. So a lot of the time off the inbound when I was passing it in, we just did backdoor cuts. But when Lanigan was passing it in, he just gave it to me and let me work. As you can see, I'm going to hit a post hop shot over this glass cleaner and I'm halfway to my takeover. And speaking of post hop shots right here, I'm going to fake going into the paint and green a post hop shot and at this point all i need is one more shot for takeover do you guys remember what i said about backdoor cuts they were so easy to do against these defenders i guess it's because they just expected landing to run around me to get the ball but sometimes you got to do what the defenders don't expect and right here i tried to pass it to him in the corner i did end up getting a turnover and this stretch big ended up hitting a three-pointer in the next play, these guys decided to be a little bit cheesy and post up on Lanigan to get the stretch open. I should have picked up, but I didn't, so they already have six points. And right here, Lanigan went for the steal, but he got screened, so the stretch is going to hit another three, and he has takeover. This stretch big ended up missing a wide open three pointer with takeover. So right here, they had 20, we could not turn the ball over anymore. And from that mid range, I ended up getting takeover. So I decided to go into the post, fake them out, get both of them jumping, hit landing it on the wing, and he's gonna hit the three. So all we need to do is score a few more buckets and we can come back. Right here, he's gonna pass it to me off the inbound, and this stretch big is double teaming. I just gotta figure out when he's double teaming, when he's trying to bait me. Right there, Lanigan's on the wing again. He's gonna hit the three. I don't know why the stretch is leaving him wide open if he's just gonna hit the three every time. So right here, Lanigan got his takeover from that shot. He's gonna get an open mid-range, and he's gonna tie the game up. So right here, all we need to do is score one more time. A three or a two, either one's fine. So once again, he's gonna get a backdoor cut and end the game. 
Like I said, his backdoor cuts were amazing throughout the time we played. And after that game, we ended up playing two more games. This game was against a slasher and a shot creator. One of them was an amateur two, one of them was a pro one, but we breezed through that game. And in the second game, we were just throwing lobs. We were just having a lot of fun. We finished the game off two lobs. And as you can see, Lanigan became amateur two after the games that we played. And if you guys do ever want to play Parker with me, just check the description. My Twitter is in there. My DMs are open. So you can either DM me or you can just reply to one of my tweets if I tweet out wanting to play twos or threes with someone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.